You know what? Our temperature hike, we're almost done with that. That might be a good thing for you. That might be a bad thing. I feel like we have a mixed bag on opinions with these temperatures we've been feeling. But nonetheless, this is what we have going on. We're at 64 degrees out in Lawrence right now. We are drying. We're actually drying all across central Indiana. Light Guardian radar is drying. We'll stay that way for today. The change is going to be will be a little breezier and we won't have as much sunshine around, but I do still think we'll have some fairly bright skies, especially on in the morning hours, which is some of those high level clouds around. Then we'll see more of those clouds thickening up out ahead of this system that is sitting off to our west right now out ahead of the cold front that is going to bring us a major cool down as we head into the end of the week. We are on southerly winds right now as we head into your Thursday. That rain moves on through and we don't really get that northwesterly wind shift until we get into early Friday and that's when those temperatures are really going to tank, but you'll certainly feel a major difference tomorrow as well. We're at 68 degrees at this time in Indianapolis, 67 in Muncie and 59 in Bloomington. Notice we don't have nearly as many 50s out there this morning that extra cloud cover and those southerly winds helping keep those temperatures a little bit warmer as we start off the day and we'll still be warm as we head into the afternoon even though we have that cloud cover around so temperatures by noon you can expect it to be in the upper 70s lower 80s that's actually where we've been for the past couple of afternoons and on into the late afternoon we're looking at a high temperature in the mid 80s the record for the date 90 degrees i don't think we get there but still very warm well above average for this time of year we're drawing Today we just have those clouds moving in as we head throughout the afternoon on into the evening. I'd say this is another great evening to get outside for any outdoor activities. Again, we know that Harvest Nights back in action tonight. If you wanted to go out to that concert at the Bicentennial Plaza or just have dinner outside, temperatures by six, still warm, lower 80s, eight o'clock, mid 70s, and lower 70s by 10. We have rain moving in tomorrow. Tomorrow is going to be our wet day. We really need this rainfall. And as we get towards 8 a.m. tomorrow, Tomorrow. I'm expecting some spotty to widely scattered showers, primarily off in the western side of the state. It will not be widespread during the morning commute tomorrow, but by noon that rain really starts to fill in and I am expecting widespread showers and even some thunderstorm activity as we head on into the afternoon. I am not expecting severe weather tomorrow, but certainly lightning is a hazard with any thunderstorm that rolls on through. And then as we head on into the evening, most of this should be pushing off to the east. This is 730 PM and a few spotty showers possible as we head on into early Friday. Overall rainfall totals, some healthy doses certainly possible. I think most locations stay around a half an inch or less, but we could have some locations around three quarters of an inch and above, especially under any of that thunderstorm activity. And while most of the state is under a moderate drought, anything we get is going to be very beneficial. 86 today, a high of 72 tomorrow morning. Tomorrow afternoon, we'll see temperatures in the 60s and a high of 68 on Friday, still breezy. Saturday and Sunday, highs in the upper 50s with some isolated showers around. As we get into next week, we'll start to see temperatures warming a little bit more. Tuesday, high of 65.